Global warming means allergy sufferers may sneeze and sniff a little bit longer. Vanessa Murdoch covers climate change and spoke with an allergist about what we can expect during this fall allergy season and got some top tips to stay healthy. I mean, I'm just stuffed up here. It's harder to breathe and respiratory, itchy eyes, all that sort of jazz. Seasonal allergies are no fun. And for Harrison Foreman, they're more. Yeah, allergies are an emotional thing. I met an amazing girl, so it affected my dating life. She had a little dog. Foreman was allergic to Archie, too. Says he tried everything over the counter to stop suffering, but it wasn't enough. A few months ago, I made a big decision to go get shots. It's been changing my life. Cutie. Seasonal allergy sufferers we spoke to have a lot of company. According to the CDC, about one quarter of U.S. adults and one in five children live with seasonal allergies. Allergist Dr. Jennifer Toe says these symptoms may be prolonged this fall allergy season. We're actually seeing longer allergy seasons due to climate change. Grass pollen normally poses a problem June through August. This is still happening now in September. Dr. Toe says predominant fall allergens, ragweed and weeds, started earlier in early August. And I suspect that, you know, given climate change, we're going to have a longer ragweed weed pollen season as well. We're getting like double whammy. Her three top tips for staying healthy, know your allergens. Start allergy medicine early, ideally before the season starts. And when you get home, remove your shoes. Change your clothes. You want to take a shower to get rid of everything from outside off your body. Next week, the third week of September is asthma peak week and allergies are partly to blame. We call it peak week because emergency room visits and hospitalizations rise in that third week in September. CEO of an Asthma Allergy Foundation of America, Kenneth Mendez, shares this peak results from a combination of kids returning to school, cooler weather bringing people indoors and increasing the spread of respiratory infections, and fall allergy season. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS News, New York. And Dr. Toe reminds that those with asthma know what medications you have, what you should be taking, and take only the correct non-expired medications.